you might wonder why we've requested the dark lighting for the mood of this introduction. Because we are about to introduce to you someone who's rather strange. Someone who is rather unique. Someone who is altogether crazy. His name is Rodney Rude. <laughs> thank you, trendsetters. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, excuse me. Watch me quick. I'm really funny. Quick, quick. Uh, trendsetters, listen. Uh, what happens? Like every time I go on television, I end up being really funny, and uh, it's uh, it's starting to get that way that I thought, well, tonight I'll do something a little bit, mm, a little bit on the serious side. So I got the instrument here, and I'd like to do something a little bit serious tonight. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'd like to do a song for you and I'll back myself up on vacuum cleaner. Here we go. Uh, G, please, a G. Good, good. Hey, baby, here we go. Hey, 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 suck my face, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, let's boogie. <laughs> hey, hey, vacuum cleaner salesman went into a new subdivision. Hey, hey, suck my face. <laughs> hey, vacuum cleaner salesman went into a new subdivision. He knocked on the door. Lady opened the door. He jumped in real quick and threw horse manure all over the carpet. Hey, 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 she said, what'd you do that for? He said, lady, if this vacuum cleaner doesn't pick up that horse manure, I'll eat it. Hey, 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 She said, would you like tomato sauce on it? We haven't got the electricity on here yet. I like pie. I like pies, yeah. But you know what I do if I want to have a pie and I can't get served because there's about 30 or 40 people in the pie shop, yeah. When I'm really hungry for a pie, ooh, I stand on my toes like this, I stand on my toes like this, yeah. I look over the people's heads and I look at the girl behind the counter and I say, I think I'll have a hot meat pie. <laughs> if I don't, I think I'll die. <laughs> like to eat it till the hunger subsides. <laughs> oh, this young couple had a little baby. When the baby was born, was born without a body or arms or legs or anything else. <laughs> It was just a head, but it was a good-looking head. It was a good-looking head. It was his ninth birthday. His father called him over. He said, come here, head. He said, he said we got a nice present for you. The head said, it's not another bloody hat, is it? <laughs> oh, this head grew up. He was about 12 years old. He was in the school swimming carnival. <laughs> He was up on the blocks, he was up on the blocks and the starter's gun went off, he dived in, he went straight to the bottom. Yeah. That must have been John Blackman then having a drink. Yeah. There he is again, he's thirsty. Anyway, this head dived in, he went straight to the bottom. Five minutes later, someone went and rescued him. They got him up to the top and he was really angry. They said, what happened to you, head? He said, I've got a cramp. Grew up, he was about 22 years old, and he bowled into a bar. He bowled up to the counter, he said to the bartender, he said, give me a beer. The bartender gave him a beer, he said, now put a straw in it, which he did. He said, now get the cigarettes out of my collar. He said, now put one in my mouth. He said, now light it. He said, now do you have dark 
competitions at this hotel. The bartender said, yes, he said, we're gonna die and put it in my mouth feathers first. <laughs> now throw the bloody board at me. <laughs> You know what I hate, you know what I hate, you know what I hate? When I go swimming and there's a whole lot of kids in the pool and I keep swimming through warm patches. <laughs> and I hate it when I go swimming and I've had a whole lot of vitamin B and I want to go to the toilet but I don't want to get out of the pool. <laughs> and I wonder why everyone's looking at me. I look down, the water's all orange, I hate that. Help that my fingers went. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing then. Oh, do you know what I hate? You know what I hate when you go to McDonald's for a hamburger. That's all I hate about that game. <laughs> no, I don't hate that. I hate it when you go to McDonald's for a hamburger. You're in the men's room and the bloke next to you's got a quarter pound and you've only got a junior burger. <laughs> Negro blues singer, but I realized I wasn't. Yeah. You know what else I hate? You know what I hate? You know what I hate? I can hate you easy. Oh yeah, I hate it when I go to a gay restaurant and I sit down and the drink waiter comes over and gives me some drinks. The food waiter comes over and gives me food. Then the head waiter comes over. I hate it. Getting a standing ovation, I deserve that. And, uh... <clears throat> well, uh, seeing you called me back on, I thought that uh, maybe uh, I could do a song for uh, maybe for the audience and uh, dedicate it uh, to all the ugly people. <laughs> As I came on here this tonight, I nearly said this afternoon I got mixed up then, but I realized it was tonight. Yeah. I got my tongue caught, my eye tooth couldn't see what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> got a frog in me throat and he crossed his leg. Oh, when I come on, I look around the audience, I saw a whole lot of really ugly people. I saw two really ugly people holding hands. And I figured that was really good, keeps them out of circulation. <laughs> oh, yeah. They can go home, make a whole lot of ugly people laugh. I can't think of anything else to sing, so I'll look around the room. As I look across to the right, I see a nose with a lady on it, yeah. And I was trying to read that cute card, but it's upside down. I'm as blue, 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 as blue as blue can be. Oh, the cuckoo in the clock is going tick, tick, tock. Come on, baby, grab my hat. Oh, hurry on down to my house, baby. There ain't nobody home but me. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up now, There ain't nobody home but me. Rodney Roode, ladies and gentlemen, on Hey Hey, it's Saturday night. And boy, 
was he rubbing it. Thank you. Coming, next, coming up next, Ian Impolite.